proposal is the stuff that memories are made of. So today, we're learning tricks to the perfect proposal. And joining me now is our good friend of the Tyra Show, Matt Bean, who's the senior editor of Men's Health Magazine. So what do guys need to know before popping the question? Because they're so nervous, and I've had guys that are my friends that are come to me, and I don't know what to tell them. What don't guys need to know? <laughs> I mean, I think a lot of guys get stage fright. You know, they're like a quarterback without a playbook. Their heads are in the right place. They know where they're going. They just don't know how to get there. So check this out. There was a guy that actually wanted to rent space before the Super Bowl to propose on an ad. How romantic is that? You're sitting there eating Cheetos, <laughs> Doritos. This thing comes up on the screen. Will you marry me? Yeah, it's like, that, that's about you, baby, not about me. Yeah, right. right. So yeah. they just need a little bit of help. So and I heard it's expensive. A lot of guys, on top of the cost of the ring, how much yeah. money do they spend on average? $300. $300 for an engagement. Else. And that's not an option for everybody. Got it. Okay, well, Matt hit the streets of New York and helped one man that is truly in need of some guidance mm -hmm. and to save a little money, too. Meet Jeff. He's been dating his girlfriend, Gina Marie, for almost a year, and he's ready to pop the question. Since Gina Marie is so busy with her job as a dance instructor, Jeff is looking for a clever marriage proposal that'll really grab her attention. Fortunately for him, Matt Bean has a few suggestions. The key is being part Romeo and part MacGyver, just being clever with your proposal. We're going to find some creative ways that'll blow her mind without blowing your bottom line. All right, let's check them out. We're here at the Landmark Sunshine Cinema in Manhattan. It's a great place if you guys go to movies all the time. So let's hit inside. I'll show you what it's all about. You know, if you're in a movie theater like this one, you can get an ad for about $100. So that hits the screen. You take a knee, everybody starts cheering, and you give her the ring. And that way you don't have to see that boring chick flick you probably didn't want to see anyway. Wow, well, that's pretty clever. All right, Jess, so you've probably seen the uh, the old trick where you drop a ring in the bottom of a champagne yeah, glass. Yeah, something new. It. Yeah. It's kind of played out, yeah. right? There are other ways that you can blow her mind and still fill her stomach at the same time. Check this out. A little pizza here. Oh, wow, she would love that. Idea. Will you marry me spelled out in pepperoni? This, check out the ring. This is probably the most expensive topping you'll ever put on a pie. Yeah. But it's a great way to take a normal situation, like I said, and just kick it up a notch. It's yeah. definitely something she'll love. So this type of proposal works for any kind of food. Check this out. If your girlfriend's into Chinese. Yeah, Chinese will work. Pick up a fortune cookie like this. A company in Manhattan actually will put your proposal inside the cookie. Wow. Will you marry me, Gina Marie? That's so cool. Yeah, you think that's cool. If yeah. you give them enough advance warning, they can even put the ring inside your fortune cookie. Check this guy out. Wow, Slam. that's amazing. There's one thing you got to remember. It's always a way to turn up the volume a little bit. And that's what's great about hiring a strolling violinist, just like this guy. Yeah. I mean, you can call up your local music school, find someone that's really into it, and you can come give her a special soundtrack so that when you're on your bended knee, she's got something to remember besides just that. Thanks a lot, Matt. Yeah, for sure. You got your ring? Yes. You got to make sure you got your ring. I'm ready to right. rock and roll. Good luck. Okay, so now it's time to see if all of Matt's information about being creative with a proposal paid off. Let's see if it did. Okay, Tyra. Matt gave me a lot of suggestions. He told me to keep it on a personal level, so I figured, why not just make it at our dance studio? She teaches here, she has some great students, and I'll get them involved. Guys, listen up. I want to ask Gina Marie to marry me. I need your help desperately. I'm going to say a little speech, and then you just hold up the sign and give me some help, all right? All right, guys, on the count of three, just hold up the signs, all right? One, two, three. Oh, wait a second. All right, you trade with you, you trade with you, and you with you. All right, guys, let's try this one more time. One, two, three. All right, will you marry me, Gina Marie? Oh, this one. Wait a second. All right, now it's perfect. Hi, baby. Come here. Hi, girls. Come. You came to oh, watch me dance? Guys. Yeah. Hi, baby. How Hi. you doing? When is all this baby? No, no, I love you. You know I love you. You shaking? Yes, I'm so nervous <laughs> right now. Well, you know I want to spend the rest of my life with you, right? And I love you. And uh, I brought a couple of guests to ask you a very important question. Gina Marie? Yeah, Will you marry me? Yes, I will marry you. <laughs> I'm just happy.
be just ecstatic right now. I'm just really happy I'm about to.